Hi everyone, this is Sue from Cassie Cool Creations and today I'm going to show you how to create a seamless repeating pattern in GIMP and then upload it uh, into Printful to create a net gator. So I found this very adorable image of a pineapple on PNG tree and I'm going to show you how to use this image to create this um, template and to use this um, pattern template to make this repeating pattern. Okay, so um, first of all, I'm going to show you how to create a template canvas size so that you don't have to keep entering the same specifications um, every time you open a new canvas if you're using certain sizes over and over again. So this will save you some time in the long run. So first, you click File, New, and um, create the canvas size that um, you often use. So today, um, I'm going to be creating 2.125 inches by 2.125 inches. And um, we want the resolution to be 300. Um, and uh, it's a little bit glitchy because even though the fill width is already saying it's a transparent background, we'll still have to edit it later on uh, once the template has been created. So for now, we'll click OK. Uh, we have to go back to File and Create Template. So let's give it a name, Printful um, Seamless Pattern and click OK. Okay, so to see the template, you go Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and then go down to Templates. And so you'll see that this new Templates tab has opened up, and if you scroll up, you'll see the Printful Seamless Pattern that we've just created. So um, you can edit it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, even though we had specified it to, to have transparent background, for some reason it will automatically go to background color and we have to change this to transparency again. And um, if you want to have um, a special icon um, so that you can um, see your template um, easier, like um, let's choose a cute butterfly. So now you can, um, when you see the butterfly, you go, oh, that's the one I want. Okay. And uh, okay, let's begin. I forgot to mention that um, next time you want to open this particular size canvas, you just need to go File. Uh, new and then um, click the drop down arrow in the template area and then select the one um, that you want. So for now I'll escape out because I we already have the canvas here. Okay so we want um, the image of the cute pineapple so what we do is click file open as layer and um, Here's the file I want. And um, so the graphic is much larger than my canvas. So what we have to do is scale it down. So here is the scale icon. So once you click that, come back and click on the um, image to get these um, handle bars. And to ensure that the height and the width remain the same ratio, you have to hold down the shift key. And then while you're holding down the shift key, you can drag um, the, um, the handles and then um, scale it down to the size that you want. So for this particular image, I want it to be uh, approximately 1.05 by 0.95 around there because um, I want to make sure that later on um, I'm going to offset it so that um, it looks nice in the repeating pattern. Um, so for what I mean is there's a lot of space between here 
and um, we need to offset it so that um, um, there's a, a bit of so if you can see in this pattern there's um, pineapple here pineapple here there's nothing here and then on the next line there's a pineapple in between them so that's what I mean by offset so it looks much um, more eye appealing than if they were all just to be lined up in a row um, so let's go back to our um, canvas here um, to move the um, the layer um, we click on this uh, icon here and then um, we drag it here um, back onto the middle of the canvas and um, I want to make sure that it is centered in the canvas so what I do is I use the uh, alignment tool here um, and I want to center it so I will click on this um, make sure it's relative to image here select it because there's different options uh, I don't know all of the different functionalities but um, this is what we need for now so click on um, align center of target and then click on the image and uh, looks like I did a good job of centering it because it looks like it was already there so I always I also want to center it um, vertically so I'm going to click this and as you could see there was a little bit of movement so um, now it's centered vertically and horizontally so that's perfect okay so um, we want to create a duplicate of this graphic um, in order for the offset to look um, appealing um, if we um, let me just show you real quick what will happen if we didn't duplicate this image and all we did was um, offset it so we'll be going through this step by step again but I just wanted to show you really quickly oh, so I have to merge it down so that this becomes all one canvas as you see there's only one layer now and uh, you have to do that in order for this um, offset function to work so you click layer transform offset and uh, we'll choose by width divide by two height divide by two and click OK so if I didn't have an extra pineapple in here what will happen is um, the repeat pattern will look like this so it's just all lined up but what we want is for them to be offset like this so that's the reason why um, <clears throat> we want an extra pineapple in there so um, let's undo the last two steps and um, do du we duplicate this uh, graphic by coming down here and clicking the duplicate layer button so now there's two of them so if I were to select the move button and move one of them you'll see that there are two of them and I'm just going to undo that so that um, my new layer will be will stay in the middle okay I'm going to click on this particular layer closest to the background and I'm going to click layer merge down <clears throat> and um, then layer transform offset and then we'll select by width divide by two by and height by two again so as you can see now um, there's uh, not a lot of empty space in between the pineapples uh, as we had seen earlier and this looks much better and um, what I also want to do is create these cute little colored circles so that um, just to give um, the design a little bit more oomph to it a little bit more depth a little bit more cutesy look so um, in GIMP um, in order to create a circle um, oops. just give me a sec here um, you have to actually use the ellipse select tool and um, in order to make a perfect circle you have to hold down the shift key 
while you're um, creating the circle. So hold down shift and then create the size of circle that you want. So let's say it's around there. And then you have to click select to path. And then um, I want this particular one to be a nice pink color. So then you go edit, fill with foreground color. So there you have it. And I want to create three more circles for this particular graphic design. Um, so what you have to do is uh, click Control X. Control, oh, sorry, it's Control C to copy and then Control V. <clears throat> now, if you use the um, move tool, um, you'll be able to move this new circle to the um, the new location that you want. And for this particular circle, I want it to be green. So I'm going to change the foreground color. And just so you know, um, in case you wanted to change the reverse the foreground and background colors, like for example, if the background color was black and I really want um, quickly want to just use black, then I can just reverse it. That way the black becomes the foreground color. So um, I'll change it back because we do want the green for now. Um, okay, so um, now we click edit and then um, we want to fill with foreground color. So now this circle is green. And I want to repeat the process two more times for my other two circles. Control C, Control V, and then um, it's already on the move tool. So I just need to move the circle to the correct location. This one I want to be blue. So edit, fill with foreground color. Voila! And one more time. Control C, Control V, and uh, this one I'm going to move over to here approximately and I want it to be this nice bright yellow. Okay, edit, fill with foreground color and ta-da! Okay, so um, before we continue, um, we have to dock this floating selection in order to move on. Um, otherwise, it won't let you um, do other changes. So we'll do that. And um, so now we want, um, in order to create this pattern or tile, we have to um, merge all the layers together. So once again, we're going to select the individual pineapple layer and click Layer, um, uh, Merge Down, sorry. Um, so now it's all on one canvas. OK. And there are two ways to create a seamless pattern. I'm going to show you the easy way today because I'm running out of time. I only have a little over one minute to go. So um, what I need to do is create a new. Uh, oh, actually, what I do is go to filters, map, and then tile. And um, the Printful um, neck gaiters are 19 inches by 19 inches. And uh, make sure the create new image is um, checked so that um, it will create a new image instead of writing over this one. Click OK. So here you go. There's the repeat pattern. Um, we can zoom in. And there's the cute little pineapples. Um, so I want to change the background color to black. So what I do is go down here, add a new layer, and uh, make sure it's the same size, 19 by 19. And um, black is my background color. So I'm going to go background color here and click OK. So if, if you didn't want to do it that way, you could also change your foreground color to black and then come here and click foreground color. But because my background color is already black, I'm going to select that and then click OK. So um, we want to make sure the black is in the background. So you're going to click on the black layer and then drag it down below the background layer. And ta-da! Now you have this beautiful um, 
seamless repeat pattern. And looks like my time's up.